Welcome back to Adventures in Reach. New to the woods or a veteran to the outdoors, if you have any chance of getting lost, you will want to watch this. So sometimes we'll go from a big trail down to a smaller one, or we're just exploring off into the woods, and that can sometimes lead to just getting lost. With Search and Rescue, I've been on calls before where people start following deer paths, thinking it's the actual trail, and when they turn around, nothing looks familiar. Aside from the skill I'm about to show you, you really want to look behind you periodically as you're hiking, especially after trail intersections, so that you know what it would look like if you were to go back. When you're going off trail, that also works very well. Now, the problem is when you get in situations like this where everything looks pretty similar no matter what direction you go. First things first, when you realize that you're lost, take a seat, take a breath, and just think. What looks familiar? What did you pass? Are there any reference points? Is it sunny out? Are the clouds moving a certain direction? Do you hear noise in a certain direction? Whatever it is, think and just spend some time trying to figure it out. Our brain is going to be the most useful thing here. After that, we're going to go to this skill that I'm about to show you. You'll notice that I have this bright orange backpack, and I got this on purpose. Partly because I like orange, partly because it helps during hunting season where this is some of my blaze orange, and partly for this exact scenario, I can use this as a marker. Step one is to get your marker high in the tree. If you don't have a bright backpack, think about what else you can use to mark the spot where you realize that you were lost. So it could be the backpack, it could be a t-shirt, a bandana, it could be a space blanket, it can be a bunch of broken branches that you lash together or weave together as long as you can identify it from a distance and you can come back to that and positively know that that was your spot. One of the things I carry is about 20 feet of this pink flagging and this can be a great location and it can also be used later on. Step two is I'm going to wander in circles around this object, getting increasingly further away. So I'll start here, I'll be looking for the trail as I go. I want to make sure that I maintain constant visual contact with that item. All right, so I made it all the way back around in my circle and I didn't find anything. So now I'm going to walk further away, keeping that in sight and do it again. I can see it a ways over there. I'm about a hundred feet away. Now I could walk the circle. At some point, my backpack will get too far away for me to safely continue. I can just barely see it through the trees, but I'm gonna to wanna to go back and start on my next skill so that I really don't risk losing my marker item. Now that I'm back at my marker, I'm going to try my next skill, and I'm going to be able to go further and get out of sight of this thing. So now I'm gonna gather whatever tools I wanna to have with me to help mark the way. I'm also going to bring anything that's absolutely essential that I may need in the next half an hour or so. And I'm going to think about what am I actually leaving there. Before I never lost visual connection to that object, but now I will be. So can you live without that object? So would I leave this backpack here? Maybe if that's all I have. Either way, just think through it and make sure that you are spending the time to be logical and come up with a good sound plan. So what I'm going to do here is mark out four directions. I'm marking the four directions with four sticks. They do not need to be cardinal directions. Part of my assumption here is that we may not know where north, south, east, or west is, and so we're going to just use any random directions, and these are just directions to go to see if we can refine the trail that we left. I'll put the blaze orange hat on to help you keep track of me. So we'll look at where the stick is pointing, point in that direction, so I can see this big leaning tree. So I'm gonna walk to that tree and I need some way to mark it. I can do that with a knife and make a little carved blaze on there, something that I'll be able to recognize later. I'm also gonna to wanna to do that around the back of the tree so that I can see it on my way back. Backing up from here, that becomes less and less obvious. Yes, you can see it, but not the most obvious thing when you're lost and nervous. 
Another option instead of this blaze is to break, or snap off branches. And you might want to snap off several. You might want to rip them down a ways so you have a lot of this bright inner showing. You could use a rock heron. You could dig leaves away or make holes in the ground. Let me know in the comments what you regularly carry that you could mark your way with. Be creative and do whatever you can. The best scenario though is you using flagging. I'm definitely gonna use flagging for this demonstration. Now there's a couple ways to go about this and the flagging makes it easier and more obvious to use the second option. The first option is to come back here and line up your original tree under your marker item and then line it up with the flagging or your other marker and then sight from here to that flagging past it to a third tree or object which I have sighted and can walk to. So now this is starting to get obvious. There's a clear direction between these two ribbons. I can either keep shooting ribbon to ribbon, picking a new place, marking it, going back and sighting forward, or we can back up and stay in line with those two pieces of flagging. Right behind me is this stick, and now we have it marked in line. And what we're going to do is we're going to push this line out for about five minutes. You can also base it on the number of steps. So you might pace it out. Either way, after about five minutes or maybe 300 steps, you would return and just follow your line back. Now the hope is that you would find your trail again during this first excursion. But if you don't, that's fine. You have three more chances, at least during this round. So we go back to our four directions and we know we flag that one. So we'll pick any of the other ones. And we just do that four times. Now, if you get to the end of your five minutes for each of your lines, then you start again. Pick any of those lines, you follow it to the end, you go another five minutes now. So 10 minutes total passed. And you're going to do that for each one. So again, you're going to be walking a lot, but you're going to be getting out further for each time you go. And eventually one of those directions, you're going to find something you recognize and hopefully the trail that you came in on. The odds are high you'll find your trail if you stop soon after you realize you're lost or confused. So don't delay after you've tried each of the four directions in five, 10, 15 minute increments, you go out as far as you think you humanly possibly could have traveled plus a little more because it's confusing out here. Then Go back to your seated position and go back to thinking. And if truly none of that worked, then you want to look at what can you do to be safe for the night. Stay put. Don't guess at to what direction you came from. You already checked your directions and it didn't work. And so this is the best place to be because it's the first place you realize that you were lost. So stay there, wait for help and do what you can to Get yourself some shelter. You wanna eat something. You wanna keep yourself dry. You wanna get yourself warm. Now I really hope that you found this helpful and that somebody will use this someday to save themselves by finding the trail or road that they came from. And if you're interested in any of the gear that I would suggest bringing with you on a day hike, I'll include this backpack in it, some flagging, compass that I recommend, GPS, space blanket, all that sort of stuff, then check the links in the description. So if any of this seems helpful to you, then please navigate on over to that like button and mark it up so that I know you enjoy this content and I know that you may want to see more like this in the future. I would like to credit Professor Christian Bisson and Jamie Hannon who wrote a short article called Use This Trick If Lost in the Woods. And they modified some of the information that came from the AMC Mountain Skills Manual. So some of the information that I gave today was from those sources. Now, if you're interested in inspiring adventures and more tips and tricks like this to help you get outside more confidently, then I would highly suggest that you consider subscribing to my channel and checking out the videos I've already posted. Also, if you're looking for more about orienteering and finding your way, especially when you're lost, you can check out the video up here, which is all about safety bearings and using that compass to get you back, even if you don't know exactly what direction you came from. Let me know in the comments what you think, and we'll see you next time.